Level 1 5907 Classified Item Number SCP-5907 Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-5907 is held within Modified Safe Storage Locker 58 at Site-51. The unit is fitted with a smoke detector, and if at any time the alarm activates, the locker is to be flooded with water. A total of 21 individual articles of clothing are folded and stored within the locker. Further testing of SCP-5907 has been deemed unnecessary. Description: SCP-5907 is a 19th century oil lamp comprised of a small oil chamber and a wick consisting of hemp and cotton. Igniting the wick causes SCP-5907 to emit trace amounts of fluctuating Akiva radiation. After approximately 30 seconds, SCP-5907 starts releasing smoke, with inhalation causing transfiguration of human tissue into synthetic cotton-like material and calcium-heavy biomatter such as bones into aluminum. There is no known method of terminating the transmutation. Discovery On February 23, 2020, the Foundation received a police file containing information on severely mutated human corpses, including several photographs. Foundation agents were deployed to the residence where the corpses were located, which was still under police investigation. SCP-5907 was discovered due to its abnormal levels of Akiva radiation, detected by investigators GADs, General Analysis Devices. It was located in the room of William Corbin, the son of the residence's owner. The bodies of William, Veronica, and Fresco Corbin were all located in the room. A video file was also recovered from William's personal computer. Begin Log Okay, it's February 19th and I picked up this really cool lamp from a pawn shop down on Wilson Avenue. William holds up SCP-5907. Now, the guy there said this thing is a real deal genie lamp. William turns SCP-5907 to reveal its underside. See here? It says, Levi Strauss 1840. According to the guy at the shop, Levi Strauss himself used this to become successful. I believe in the supernatural. But this seemed almost too good to be true, so I couldn't pass it up. William sets SCP-5907 down on a small table in front of the camera. So all I've got to do is light the lamp. He uncovers the wick and lights it. Rub it three times and, I don't know, I guess just wait for the genie? <laughs> the lamp begins producing smoke from its spout. Holy shit, I can't believe… William begins coughing as a tendril of smoke forces his way down his throat. <coughs> Help! <coughs> the smoke detector in William's room begins beeping as William collapses to the ground, clutching his chest. The skin on William's fingers, nose, and neck begins to peel, revealing a blue fabric underneath. William coughs out blood mixed with a fibrous white substance. The door to the room opens. Oh my god, Fresco, get in here! William moves to his side and opens his mouth to speak. Clumps of bloody cotton fibers fall from his open mouth. Two tendrils of smoke are seen drifting off screen. Help! <coughs> what the fuck is go- <coughs> Two thuds can be heard as the coffin turns to gas for air. Dozens of zipper elements are pushed out from the corner of William's eyes also known as zipper teeth. After 30 minutes, William's entire epidermis is peeled away and has been replaced with denim fabric. One hour after the transfiguration was complete, SCP-5907 self-extinguishes. End log. Cover story TT-31, Carbon Monoxide Leak, was enacted to explain the deaths of the Corbin family. All three corpses, as well as SCP-5907, were relocated to Site-51. All mentions of the corpse's mutation were removed from police records, and all emergency responders were amnesticized to remove memories of the incident. The investigation team attempted to locate the pawn shop described in the video, but public records indicate no such stores ever existed in the area. 
Incident Report On March 25, 2020, the three corpses were being moved from Biohazard Observation Chamber 3 to their permanent storage location in Safe Storage Locker 59. Upon being lifted, the corpses shed their outer layers, which formed a total of three denim jackets, six denim gloves, three pairs of denim pants, six denim socks, and three denim gimp masks. Aside from their creation, the clothing is not anomalous. Underneath the corpse's layers of clothing were only skeletal remains and cotton stuffing. The Corbin family skeletons were incinerated, and the remaining clothing has been folded and stored within SCP-5907's containment locker.